If you enjoyed The Dot, I bet you're going to enjoy today's story. It's written by the same author, Peter H. Reynolds, and it's called Ish. Ramon loved to draw. I wonder if you love to draw. What do you like to draw? Any time. Look, he's even up late at night. Anything. He's even drawing trash cans and anywhere, even sitting on the pot. <laughs> One day, Ramon was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? He asked. Oh, boy. You think his brother is being very nice? Look at the little sister peeking at him through the doorway. Ramon could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. He is upset. Leon's laughter haunted Ramon. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. Look at how many he's throwing out all over the place. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Ramon put his pencil down. I'm done. How sad is that? He used to love to draw, and now he's just giving up. He's not saying, I think I can, is he, anymore. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want, he snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Ramon sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Ramon raced after Marisol up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. Look at all of those pictures that his sister has been collecting that he had been crumpling up. Kind of reminds me of of the gallery of dots in the other story. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Ramon said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. vase -ish? Vase-ish, Ramon looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings Marisol's walls had begun to see and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Ramon felt light and energized. Thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines, quickly springing out without worry. Ramon once again drew and drew the world around him, making it the ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals. Tree-ish, house-ish. Boatish, afternoonish, fishish, sunish. See, so he's saying ish because they kind of look like what he's he's trying to draw. Yeah, like this is the sun. It's supposed to look kind of like the sun. And this is supposed to look like a boat. Ramon realized he could draw ish feelings too. Peaceish. Silly-ish, excited-ish. I really like that excited-ish. It looks excited with the, almost like fireworks to me. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. 
like, I got to put on my glasses to read his little poem that's written here on the bottom. It says, ponder, pond, ponder, dream yonder, pond, pond, yond, yond, gleam, wander, Ramon. <laughs> he was having fun. One spring morning, Ramon had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. Savored it means to really enjoy it. And Ramon lived ishishly ever after. The end. Shows you that you need to believe in yourself, right? Don't let other people's opinions of, of, of your work um, make you give something up that you love. I will talk to you soon.